Hello everyone, welcome to Behind the Scenes of Co-Play It. Now the point of this video is to kind of address the numerous video issues we've had in the past and how exactly I figured out how to fix them. It's quite wonderful. It's actually really cool and very interesting. So for those of you at home or for those of you who do your own Let's Plays, um, this may be helpful information to you, especially if you use the Elgato HD60, which is what we use. So um, let's get into it. Let's dissect this thing. So, as I just said, here on Coplay It, we use the Elgato Game Capture HD60 Game Capture Card, which is an excellent piece of hardware uh, at a decent price. I'm not plugging Elgato, it's just what we use, whatever. Um, point is, good hardware, but what I've learned, bad software. Bad, bad software. Anyway, so I'm going to bring up the Elgato Game Capture window here for you so I can go over a few things that I've learned. Uh, to kind of help you figure out how I got to this. Anyway, so here's the Elgato Game Capture HD60 window. So it's initializing, there's not going to be anything on here. Uh, because I'm not, there's no games on. But anyway, so normally what you do is you open it up and you set whatever you're recording. Be this is because, uh, to my knowledge, the Elgato Game Capture software actually differentiates between what console it's recording. It decides how to record it based on the source, which, you know, in theory is a pretty fucking good idea. Except for when you're constantly switching between input sources, or even, not even like actively, it can be days, it can be weeks after you've recorded one type and you switch to another, it still has some sort of jumbled memory um, about what it's supposed to be recording, and it fucks everything up. So, say I recorded some Xbox 360 footage three weeks ago, and then now it's like, all right, it's time to do some ukulele. Let's go to the Xbox One. It will freak the fuck out. Now, this is because uh, what Elgato does is it passively records footage, you know, even before you hit the button, it is passively recording it just so, you know, to make sure you don't lose footage, which in theory, again, is a very good idea, but for some reason causes instability in the program. Now, you can disable this, and I don't know if it helps, but... From what I understand, it's kind of a problem with the thing anyway. So somewhere along the line, Elgato has its own database of recorded footage that it's just passively recording. And you can clear that database and help wipe the memory of whatever you recorded last. But when I tried that, the very next thing we recorded, I believe, was ukulele. And you guys saw how the last round of those went. Fucking bad. So that didn't fix it. So I did a bit more research and I tried to figure out, you know, what can I do to fix this? And it turns out there is one very simple solution that I would never have thought to use. And that is, fuck the Elgato software. Hear me now, this is garbage. It's bad and it's caused me a lot of headaches. What is the solution then? Well, the solution, as I will close the Elgato window, is this neat little freeware program, I want to stress that, it is free, called OBS. I believe it stands for Open Broadcasting System or Open Broadcasting Software. Uh, it's one of the two. Either way, it is a game recorder slash streaming program, and it is excellent. It is more efficient. It is more reliable than Elgato in every way. So, if you guys will recall, about a few weeks back we had our Memorial Day live stream, which was the first time we ever did that. Um, at first, I did try to do that through Elgato, because Elgato allows you to live stream, you know, through its software, which is a great convenience. Except for the fact that we have pretty shitty internet here, which is our fault, but whatever. So, according to Elgato, based on our internet connection, we were allowed to stream at 480p, 30 frames per second, and I'm like, Whoa, okay, um, surely we can do a little better than that. So I talked to some people and they put me onto OBS um, and I opened it up, I got it ready and I hit, you know, I checked the diagnostics and it says ready to stream at 720p, 60 frames per second. And I thought, hell yes, that is, you know, just fine. We can live with that. And I started streaming, we tested it and it looked good and it worked for four hours. Now, here's the kicker. We streamed and recorded simultaneously through the same program for four hours straight. And you want to know how much footage we lost? None of it. It recorded all of it in flawless detail while live streaming it. It was crazy. It blew my damn mind. I'm like, how the fuck have I not heard of this? Because like in every YouTube and Google search I ever did to try and figure out Elgato, this never came up. 
and I'm fucking amazed. But this is it. This is the solution right here. So again, OBS, um, what it can do is it's a game capture software that works for any, as far as I know, I haven't tried, I don't have every device available to try, but to my knowledge, this in theory could use any capture card device that you use for gameplay footage. And it also records from PC. So PC and console gamers alike, you're good. So essentially what you do is you go down here, you click this little plus button, you go to, where is it? Video capture device. And for this, we're going to name it the Elgato HD60, just for clarity. Uh, it's trying to link up with my webcam, which I believe is currently unplugged. Um, and then we're going to switch to Elgato Game Capture HD. So it recognizes the device and it knows that it can use it. All right, so if, you, if we can't see this, then you'll notice there is an Elgato HD60 window bar that has appeared here, which means we can now use that device for recording and it's even got the Elgato logo software software logo up here to show that yes we are actually recording from the Elgato so here you see OBS's uh, setup again let me just go over it this is your video sources this is where the Elgato will be displayed mixer this is where the Elgato audio will show up or your uh, recording audio and then you've got settings in which you can customize all your stuff and link to your twitch and YouTube accounts and all that fun stuff and then you can set up scenes and do custom stuff. And it's a bunch of, a lot of really robust tools here for a freeware program. So if you want to find it, just go to Google, search OBS recording, and you should find it no problem. I'll leave a link in the description below just so that you guys can find it for sure. But that's about it. That's all I got because like, uh, we're good. Like recording problems are solved forever and always. So for those of you who may have been struggling with similar problems or are now or do use the software and haven't incurred problems, this may help you in the future. Uh, but for whatever reason, this is just the cleanest, most efficient software I've used. Just to kind of leave a little end cap. When I record with when I used to record with the Elgato software, my CPU would hike the fuck up because it's like, oh man, we gotta process all this video. Ah, oh. and it yeah, I mean that makes sense. But is there a better way? Yes, I open OBS, I do the exact same thing. Right now it's recording and CPU, it's using 3.4% of my CPU to record right now. Granted, it's not using the Elgato and it's just recording my screen. So, mm. but when it does use the Elgato, it jumps between 35 and 40%, which is still of a heck of a lot less than Elgato, the Elgato software. So, there you go. If you guys have any problems with the Elgato Game Capture HD 60 or even the HD software, if you have problems with Elgato software in general, I think this is what the solution is. Like, Elgato, if you're watching this, pay the fuck attention because someone did it better and it's great. So thank you all so much for watching this little video I've whipped up. Hopefully it was interesting and informative and until next time, have a good one.